You coming up? Whoa, careful, bud. Just don't get any ideas. That's mine. You don't get to you don't get to consume that. In the background, you can hear uh, Dan, who we're currently watching, uh, at the end of Earthbound. Hello, everyone, and welcome to uh, to Thursday. Been watching Dan play Earthbound live on Twitch every Tuesday and Thursday, and today's going to be finishing the game. He's pretty close. It's exciting. Also, have a new dish in our 15 frozen meal thing. This is beef stroganoff. I haven't actually tried it yet. Man, what do you think? Um, it could use a little bit of salt and pepper. Okay, but otherwise pretty good? Yeah. Mal made hers with cauliflower rice. I made mine with um, the traditional noodles. noodles. It's really, really hot. But I would use a packet of gravy next time. Like those packets. Mm. It's good though. Yeah. Mm. But I would use a packet of gravy next time. It does need a little salt and pepper. Mm. Anyway. We're going to uh, basically enjoy our evening. Super excited to see Dan finish this up. And um, hopefully he does well. So Dan finished Earthbound. And uh, to celebrate, we got some milkshakes and brought milkshakes over. We actually, we had to we had to piece out near the end of the stream so we didn't see absolutely every single little thing. But we saw you beat the game. Mm -hmm. Just missed some of the end game stuff because we had to go over to our accountant's house tonight. But on the way back, we got milkshakes. So we could celebrate the fact that you did it! Yay! So I haven't actually seen the end of the stream where you gave, like, your thoughts yeah. on the game. Okay. So... So go and watch that, everybody. <laughs> <No>. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to say, so um, what, what did you think? Yeah, it was, it was really great. I really get why um, there's such a huge fan base around the game. Um, and, like, I mean, I mean... I, I said it before, I'll say it again. I mean, even even for them, I mean, even now, it's still a great game. Um, mm -hmm. definitely holds up. And especially for its time, it was just super good. Um, it was, in many aspects, it was a little ahead of its time. Yeah. There was a lot of, like, at that time, people, like, it, Earthbound actually did really bad when it came out, because everyone was like, what's this crap? <laughs> and it's really kind of matured into its cult status but at the at the time when it came out everyone was playing like final fantasy and the graphics it's weird talking about super nintendo graphics but like people were like these graphics look like they're from the nes because it has a very unique art yeah. style so yeah. only now is it actually being like truly appreciated i think which is nice i'm glad that you enjoyed it yeah it's really great um I can now say that I, I, I beat it. And there's so mm -hmm. many things now. <laughs> I've been going on the fan gamer, like going through all the different products and stuff, and I'm like, oh, I get this now. Oh, <laughs> oh you get all that. the inside jokes about the shirts and stuff now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I'm thinking about either getting the EB yourself, like what I think Mal has, um, but the red version, or the Dungeon Man, because Dungeon Man was my favorite part. <laughs> Just, just because it's just so like <laughs> funny and just like weird and it's a really weird part of the game. Yeah, but it's it's, it's, it's a good a part of the zoo. game. It is actually Dungeon Man is a petting zoo. It's just a like a living, breathing petting First zoo. Man person. Man petting zoo. This is the belly button. <laughs> So what's what's next for you? Are you doing uh, um, Far Cry well, Five? Uh, yeah. Um, so in two weeks. So I've been playing it for <laughs> so three by, months. By the time you guys get this vlog, Dan's uh, Dan's finished Far Cry Five, yeah, and you can, uh -huh. you know, it's sad, but it's true. <laughs> but um, yeah, you you did you did leave under my comforter. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Yeah. So I told I've been telling Dan that I that I had a game for him to play, because I knew he was going to be starting Far Cry 5 in, like, two weeks, and he needed something to play for next week, and I was like, I'll take care of it. And he's like, but what is it? I was like, don't worry about it. He's like, can I know anything about it? I was like, well, you want to know? He's like, well, what system was it for? I was like, it was originally for GameCube. He said, is it a good game? I was like, it's one of the most highly rated games of all time. Didn't tell him what it was. <laughs> it's Resident Evil 4. <laughs> I... Don't know why, but when I was watching you play through Earthbound, I was thinking, what game, like, seeing your reactions and stuff, I was like, what game would be great to see Dan react to? 
and I came up with Resident Evil 4. And the reason I did is because I feel like, I hate to be like, I feel like you'll hate it, but at the beginning... <laughs> I only play it on Tuesday. Basically, like, uh, and if you do, that's okay. okay. I'm not offended. Okay. It's just one of those things that um, the beginning of the game, like, throws like, you... Like, you already own this, right? I mean, I own it for Xbox One, but I don't care. I own it for a bunch of systems. It's a good game. I've actually never finished it, but it's but good. This is your copy, though. <laughs> no, it's for you. Oh, this is for me? Yeah. To keep? Yeah. Oh, yeah. thank you. Unless you hate it. That, no. <laughs> <laughs> then I'll, then I'll take it back, but, like, I want you to try it because I think that as a stream game, it would be hilarious because okay. at the very beginning of the game, it throws you into it. And I think that there's going to be really good reactions out of you because of it. Okay. Like, it's don't think of it as a horror game. That's the okay. wrong way of looking at it. It's an action game, but it's like... <laughs> so I'm just stuff. really excited to watch you play it. Yeah, because I've never played a Resident Evil or a... Um... Excuse me. What's 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 that, what's that one that y'all play? Yeah, is it Resident yeah. Evil with Cheva? That was Resident Evil 5. Oh, okay. This is 4. Oh, okay. Yeah. Then, I, then I've at least watched y'all. Yeah, four, it, but... f 5 is kind of, Okay, so... 5 is kind of the black sheep of the family. It's mm -hmm. weird and action-y. Resident Evil 4 is also action-y, but not like 5 is. It's... Yeah. It, it's a better game. Okay. But yeah, that game has won all sorts of awards. It's, Play the piano. Yeah. To, um, to open the... Yeah, Resident Evil 5 has piano-playing mini-games. <laughs> where you play the Moonlight Sonata to open <laughs> secret doors. Uh, yeah, that's a better game. Okay. I mean, hey, you might actually like it, and if you yeah. like it, then you can, I don't know, you can play through it. Um, but it, it's intense, and it's fun. Okay. Blood and gore. Intense violence. Oh, it's actually intense, see? Language. Intense. Oh, it's got language, Steve, and I don't think I can... Burn it. <laughs> Frickin' play it. Finishing off the evening by printing up some more of the N64 cases, because, I mean, we're... We have the games, but we haven't finished casing the stuff, so there's a big pile on the drying rack um, that will get cut out tomorrow and then start going up on the shelf. I really want to try and take care of that um, because it'll give us a better idea of how much shelf space we actually have. We'll get there at some point. Anyway, um, it's been a great day. It really has. Um, we've been busy, uh, but it was really nice to you know, to watch Dan complete Earthbound. Um, and uh, I, I don't know if people understand how important that actually is, uh, just in the idea of so many of Dan's friends uh, have, you know, found each other through Earthbound. Um, you know, me and uh, Mallory and Alex and Chaz and, I mean, the list goes on. So all of us know each other and are connected to Dan, and uh, the way we all know each other is, you know, Earthbound. So it's really cool that Dan gets to be in on that, in a way. Uh, he now understands all the references, all the the things like that, so um, it's cool. You know, and, and one of the things that he's been asked throughout all of these different live streams that he's done for the past few months playing Earthbound is how have you not played it already living with Steven, you know, in college? Uh, didn't he make you play it? And uh, I, I did not. Uh, I, I think that that's probably the, the fastest way <laughs> to make someone hate something is to say, you know, oh, you've got to play this thing. You've got to play this thing. I mean, Dan knew it was important to me. Um, he, he knew that that was a, a big part of my life. But, uh, you know, I knew that he would just play it whenever he was ready, and he you know, got through it tonight, and it's just, I don't know, it's really cool. It's its a minor thing, but it's a really cool minor thing. And I'm just glad that uh, he got a chance to experience the game that meant so much to me. I would say as a kid, but forever. My entire life. That's it for today. Thanks for watching. And as always, let's meet back tomorrow, shall we?